Driving narrow streets in a rusty car Leading to the sea, think we're getting close We should take a pic, baby strike Good morning, guys! Happy May the 4th be with you! Can we talk about my hair today? Can we talk about it? Okay, so first of all, I woke up this morning and I was like, May the 4th, it's gonna be the best ever! And I went to my closet looking for all of my Star Wars clothes and I realized I took them all to the Florida house. I was so sad. I have like the Ray Jack. I was, I had the whole outfit planned in my mind last night, but it's okay. We found a Yoda colored shirt and the hair is happening. So it's all good. Guys, today we are talking about uh, how to extend your wave season. If you are having the same experience that my clients are having and my agency owners that we coach, wave season was epic. And so today we're gonna talk about how do you extend that wave season. So if you wanna learn three things that you can do to extend your wave season, if you wanna learn the systems that you need to have in place or why the systems, putting systems in place can five times or 10 times your profits, and the number one thing you need to do right now to set yourself up for growth, keep on watching, that's what we're doing on the live stream today. All right, guys, don't forget to take a moment, like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell if you're watching over on YouTube. Every week I bring you tips, tricks, sometimes training, all the good things. I don't want you to miss a thing. Um, and if you're new here, uh, welcome. You're like, who's this crazy lady talking about Star Wars and uh, tips for my travel business? My name is Cindy Williams. I've been in the industry almost 30 years, which is crazy. I started when I was a baby at just 19 years old, worked for one of the biggest travel brands uh, in the country. I now own and operate my own award-winning nationally recognized travel agency. That's where we test everything that we train you on the channel. Uh, but I'm best known for being the CEO of Careers on Vacation, which helps people just like you learn how to launch, grow, and supersize your travel business. Careers on Vacation is a, a consulting company that helps travel entrepreneurs all over the world. And this is part of our free education series that we bring you over on YouTube. And then today we're doing live stream, of course, which by the way, you guys are live. If you have questions as we go, very few opportunities do you get to talk to me live if you're not inside my programs. Put your questions and comments. I'm going to check those at the very end. Um, but guys, we're talking about um, extending wave season. And uh, for those of you who have marketing in place, who are, were ready for this year's wave season, I know you're coming off of the most epic wave season we've ever seen. Like I said, I've been doing this almost 30 years. And one thing you can always count on is January, February, and March are always blockbuster months. If you do them right, it really sets up your, your entire year. Now, the difficulty that can sometimes come into play is once you get into second, definitely into third quarter, you see a natural dip in your sales. It's just the normal seasons of our industry, unless you know how to really show up in a relevant way in the online space so you can really create that busy season all year long and create similar cash flows that you see in first quarter. Now we had something really unique happen this year and I thought it was really exciting. We work with hundreds of travel entrepreneurs and we have a lot of agency owners that I coach and work with, been working with for years. So we get to see behind the scenes, behind the curtains, the types of numbers that they're pulling, all of those good things. And something really interesting happened. I had my um, weekly mastermind call with all of my agency owners yesterday and I was like, what did April look like for you guys? Where did you close out? Because I had some interesting numbers in my agency and I was really uh, keen to find out like how did it go for you guys having, because obviously I've taught them how to put systems and different things in place. And a lot of them said April was their biggest month of the year so far. And that was the same thing in our agency, which is very unusual. Normally it's January, February, March. Then April, you'll see a natural kind of dip happen in about the third or fourth week. That didn't happen and we're still going strong into May. So that's very exciting, but it is not normal. It is an anomaly based on what's going on in the world today. People coming back to travel, people wanting to get out this summer, people feeling more ready. So we're seeing something that is not traditionally what we have seen ever in our industry. So it's very exciting. 
But it also can make you say, oh, well, this is how it's always going to be. And that's not the case. You need to prepare now to create that enthusiasm in your business and to kind of keep that wave season going. So I really wanted to put this live stream together to talk about the things that we did to create such a huge momentum in, in our businesses, in my business and the coach, the clients that I coach in their businesses in first quarter. And then some key things, key takeaways that you should be thinking about for your travel business, whether you are a solo travel uh, entrepreneur or you're growing an agency. And by the way, if you came across this and you're just thinking about becoming a travel agent, make sure you go over and get our free masterclass. If you wanna find out if the industry is for you, this is an hour long session I put together to help you understand the different ways to get into the industry, things you should think about before you leap in. It's really just an educational piece to kind of help you through that thought process um, because it's not, it's not, this industry is not for everybody and it's okay. That's okay. That doesn't have to be for everybody. So go, get, I'll, put, I'll drop those links below over on uh, YouTube so you can grab that too if you're in that think, thinking about it phase. But for those of you who are like, Cindy, tell me what I need to do. What, what are some of the things you're doing inside? The first thing that I feel like we've done a really good job of, not just in first quarter, um, but through uh, the entire COVID kind of period was really making sure we were soliciting future business. And if you're not already doing this, it seems like such a simple thing, but you would be surprised how many agencies don't have a system or a process or a talk track or something in place to do this so you're really creating a recurring business model. I really train my clients to make sure that they're putting systems, processes, best practices in place to have a recurring business model because you don't just wanna have an epic first quarter and then, you know, in, in October, you're like, oh my gosh, you know, what am I going to do? I'm, I'm, I'm still living off the money from first quarter, but I'm not making the same level of sales. Then you're waiting for first quarter again. No, that's not, that's no way to run a business. You have to create a recurring business model. And one of the ways you can do that is making sure you really have those relationships with your clients, <coughs> excuse me, and you're talking to them about what, what do you see as your next two to three vacations? Let me put you on a watch list. Let me put you on a wait list. Let me keep my eyes out because that's the other thing happening in the industry right now. We're getting so much information, updates, all of those things. Travel is very confusing. That's, that's bad for the consumer. It's good for us because it's why they need us. So have those conversations with your clients. And there was one, actually, I'm gonna use this as an example. Yesterday in my grad group, in my careers on vacation grad group, someone said, wow, I have these clients, they wanna to go to Hawaii and their budget, it was something small, like, I don't know, $1,500 or less. And I was like, they're not going to Hawaii, right? So sometimes, you know, prices that they may have been able to get four or five years ago, or even right before COVID on a special deal, some of those things are non-existent now because the industry is different. Hawaii, for example, super high demand because it was closed. It's stateside. You don't need, it's, well, I don't know if you call it stateside, but it's domestic, right? You, you can travel to it without a passport. And it was shut down for so long. And it's one of those things, though, that everybody wants to go. It's tropical without going across the world to Bali or Thailand or, you know, uh, all, one of those one of the tropical places that they'd have to use a passport, go through customs. So Hawaii is so popular right now. So so consumer demand is up here, which makes prices go up here. Right. So having those conversations with clients on um, Hawaii is super expensive, but I have some other options too. Just understanding what their goals are, what their budgets are, things they'd like to see. And if Hawaii is on their long-term plan, have them on a watch list. So uh, when you're offering to watch it for them, when you start calling them with specials and deals, you're the hero and you'll be able to book more business that way. So that's the first one. Make sure you're soliciting future business. Tell, put a little comment. Do you guys do this today? Tell me yes, no, and also tell me, well, just tell me yes or no, and I'm asking you another question in a couple minutes. Second thing you guys need to be doing if you're not already is soliciting referrals. Um, if you have paid marketing in place, if you have organic marketing in place, that's all great, doesn't matter. No matter what your system is and how your lead flows are coming in through your marketing machine, it is always an opportunity to ask for referral business. And there is a lot to be said to being that local, um, that local business, right? So tell people you appreciate their patronage. Cindy, thank you so much for booking with my agency. It really means a lot to me and my family, especially coming out of this pandemic era. The travel industry really took a hit. If you have any friends or family, it would mean the world to me if you would tell them about us and send them our way to book their travel. You would be surprised just having that two sentence, three sentence conversation with someone, then the next person who, uh, you know, when they're out with their friends and the next person they think of that's going on vacation, they'll say, 
oh, you have to call Cindy. That's right. They feel like they're doing something good and they are doing something good. And you just have to plant that seed. So don't miss that. And even more than a conversation, and this leads me to my my third tip and, and most important in terms of transformational growth in your travel business, you have got to have systems in your business. Let me say it again for those in the back of the room. You have got to have systems in your business. So can I solicit future business with a conversation? Sure you can. You can also sell Tupperware like it's 1974 by passing out business cards and having home parties. But the minute you start to automate processes that solicit future business, as soon as you automate processes that encourage referrals or have a system process or program that encourages referrals, that is what will change the game on a big level. If you only have 50 people in your database, you can still turn that into 150, right? At, at our level, we have almost 100,000 in our database at this point, right? So we send out uh, an automation or a program or things like that. Even if the tiniest percentage participates, those numbers are still huge for us. So I want you to think about what do you have automations, systems, processes in place to support these strategies and these structures in your business. Yes, you can have the conversations, but this is the thing with our industry guys. And I really, I want to challenge you. This is such a good time to be growing your travel business and scaling your travel business. Don't miss out on the opportunity to grow your base and grow and, and, and really have a scalable business where you have repeatable processes. But here's the thing, the, the travel agents that are doing it the right way, the travel agents who are putting in the work to get real systems in place for their business, they're not just seeing massive growth right now, but because they're expanding their numbers and expanding their base on the back end, that will support their business for years to come. This is important stuff. And here's the thing with our industry, and I get it because I was you like 15 years ago, right? A lot, and there's no judgment because I would, like I said, I was you. The, the average home-based travel entrepreneur does not treat their business really like a real business. There are so many times I do a consult and people are like, oh, I'm beating my head against the wall and I'll look and I'll dig into their business a little bit and they have no systems, they have no processes. Some of them don't even have a CRM to manage all of their data. And, and, and look, we all have to start somewhere, so that's totally fine. But I want you, wherever you are, to be real with yourself about that and say, do I need to have better systems? What would having a better system, better process, better education, how could that transform my business? Because a lot of you are doing more work than my agents or agencies that we coach um, that have systems in place. <laughs> you're doing more work and you're having less profits. That's not a good place to be. Your goal is to have the most amount of profits with the, in the least amount of time and on in a way where you have work-life balance and you have freedom. You didn't get into this to give yourself another like corporate job, right? So when you try to do these old school methods of pass the business cards, word of mouth, all that free stuff, free is not really free. That's the thing. If we have not learned anything from this whole COVID thing, it's that you know, money, resources, those are those are resources, no doubt. But what is your biggest resource in your life? It is time. And me being in my 40s now, I will pay, if someone's like, this will fix this in your business, I will pay them. <laughs> it's, a, it's a no brainer for me because I do not have the luxury of time. I, I'm impatient. I want to get to the success as fast as possible. And I did that DIY stuff for over a decade in my business trying to pinch pennies and figure it out and I'm smart and blah, blah, blah. I am smart. I am great at pinching pennies. I do make good financial decisions. But what I had to learn from failure after failure after failure is, oh, I, I got so frustrated. I got so overwhelmed. I started hating my business. It just became like a, a nonsense situation. When the minute I started getting real processes, real automation, and I started to see how my business transformed, that's when I was like, Phew, light bulb went off. Yes, I spent money, but that that money then turned into, uh, in my case, a hundred times what I was making as a small, small agency, right? So um, I just, my plug for systems and automations, that's my number three. And what, and I promise I would tell you, keep putting your questions in the feed. If you guys have questions about any of this stuff, I am going to have time for questions at the end, but I want to tell you the one thing I think you should be doing right now and why our agency is, can, can continue to have the kind of busy season all year long. Um, we do our marketing well in advance, right? This video that I'm recording today, 
I actually put this on a piece of paper down in my thought process in December. The title of this video, what I wanted to cover with you, that's how far ahead I do my marketing. We train our um, clients that work with us. We give them a marketing planner. We give them a process on how to market, how to do their marketing three months in advance. Why, why do I need to do that, Cindy? Why is that important? I'll tell you why. Because when you're in the middle of busy season, let's take April, maybe you thought April was gonna slow down a little bit and that was the time you were gonna work on your business or do some more marketing or prepare for summer. Well, if it didn't slow down in April, you're now behind the ball for summer. Marketing takes 30 to 60 days to work it with most marketing channels to really get them to their full potential. So unless you backtrack and do your marketing ahead of time and keep it going ahead of time, if you're waking up and you're going, what should I post today? That's not a that's not a good scene. You should already have it planned, prepared, pre-scheduled. That's real. That is having a marketing system, a marketing machine for. And there's so much mark. I know marketing can like. I don't want to freak you guys out because I know if you haven't done marketing before, it feels overwhelming because you're like, I'm trying to be a good travel agent. That's my focus right now. But even if you're the best travel agent in the world, if you don't have a strong marketing machine feeding you leads every single day, I'm not talking about friends and family. I'm not talking about people you know. I'm not talking even about those referrals. That's all should be like cherry on top type business. I'm talking about people you don't know contacting your business as if you are a real business because you are a real business, right? Marketing channels that bring you new clients, ideal clients, the type of clients you want to work with. If that's not happening on a regular basis, that's that's okay. Under, it's okay to assess it, but understand it's probably just your marketing machine you need to fix, adjust, and tweak, and get or get one in place if you are like marketing just feels too big. I had um, amazing one of my amazing students yesterday. Two call, two mastermind calls ago, she said, "Cindy, I hate marketing." And today she came, or yesterday she came back and she said, "Cindy, I don't know if you remember, but I told you a few weeks ago how much I was hating marketing, and now I've gone through mods four, five, and." Six, which are big marketing mods. And she said, I actually really love marketing because now that the system and the architecture is in place, I get to get that creative part of what I love. So yeah, I don't like dealing with the tech. I didn't like doing the setup, but I did it once. Now it's set up and now I'm actually enjoying the process. So I want to encourage you lean into marketing. It is so, so important. If you are not, um, by the way, already using Wanderlust Social, you guys, this is the biggest new thing in the industry. It's our system company. Um, I don't even know the bundles that are coming out because I have a team running that company over there, but they create done for you, but customizable to your brand marketing bundles that have emails, captions, hashtag vault, uh, different things that you wouldn't see anywhere else, like itineraries, top 10 things to do. Some of the seasonal bundles have cool stuff like recipe cards. So every bu uh, our uh, normal bundle for like a destination bundle um, also has like a blog post, emails that you can send out. Everything that you need to like market a destination is over there. So go check out Wanderlust Social. It has been transformative. I am using my own products so you can follow my stuff. Um, but those are great if you are struggle with creativity or struggle with, um, you know, kind of how to put marketing together. We also have this great, this is a, a free resource I rolled out a couple months ago. It's our blueprint. So I'll put the link for this down below too. Um, it's wanderlustceo.com slash blueprint. That will give you a basic starting place for your marketing. It does not give you my full blown out systems and teach you ABC, what we're teaching in our masterminds, but it does give you the ABC of how to get a basic structure in place. So check that out. That will be helpful for you too. Um, and guys, if you really are wanting to learn how to up level, get real systems, processes, best practices, all of these things is what are what we do in our 12 week uh, mastermind at Careers on Vacation. This is our most popular program. We have been sold out every single month, month for the last six months. Please get your applications in early for going into June, end of May, June now at this point. Um, but it's an amazing, not just curriculum, but you get to work with real people. That's the difference in our program. You get to work with real educators, real agency owners that have my systems and processes in place. It is transformation 
educational. We have the most reviews in the industry, you guys, the most case studies in the industry. And we are ASTA affiliated, which is also a really big deal. If you guys know um, ASTA, the American Society um, of Travel Advisors. So this is uh, careersonvacation.com slash ready now. If you want to check out that information or you want to apply for the program, get those applications in early uh, if you want to attend this summer for sure. All right, I'm going to hop over and see who's on our live today. Yes, I got to get the glasses on. Um, and let's see what everyone's talking about today. Hey, oh my gosh, Stacy, you are going to laugh so hard. Girl, Stacy, you guys went through my program a bazillion years ago. Uh, we were updating our... Um, like our our sales funnels <laughs> on the COV side and your name came up because you had such a beautiful case study uh when you graduated the program I would love to catch up with you and see how you're doing but your name came up and I was like how I wonder how Stacy is and then here you are in my live stream today oh my gosh I love that Katie says omg the hair this is so easy I learned it like on TikTok or reels or something I don't know but I I whip out this hairstyle whenever I'm going to Galaxy's Edge um, or it's May the 4th. Besides that, you usually don't see it. Hey, Nicole. Good morning. Hey, Erin. Good morning. Love you guys. Um, Katie says, at what point do, at what point in the process do you recommend asking for the referral? Do you recommend a referral program of some sort or hold off on that? Oh, good questions, Katie. So one, I love to make sure the client had a great experience. So I think the ideal, um, time to ask for, uh, a referral or a, rec or, or a recommendation is to get them on the return of their trip. So when they just came back from Hawaii, they just had an amazing time. We have a check-in process that's both automated and in person, um, and then give them an opportunity to uh, have that conversation to refer more business. I love the idea of a referral program, and yes, I recommend that. Um, hey, Nikki, good morning. Erin says, my mindset and my marketing or butting heads right now. Aaron, tell me more about that. Um, and it, tell me what about, is it that you're struggling with your brand identity or is it just that you're not feeling creative? Tell me more about that and I can maybe help. Um, Amy says, is Wanderlust Social available uh, at discount to your COV discounts? Yes, Amy, anything I offer in the world, my clients always get a discount. So careers on vacation, uh, clients do get a discount on Wanderlust Social as do my Wanderlust CEO clients. Once you're in the program, you get this beautiful brochure called Cindy's Favorite Things. Not only do you get discounts on anything I have out in the world, but I have negotiated discounts with um, some of the major CRMs. I've negotiated discounts with Travelfy. I've negotiated discounts with uh, TIS. So a lot of the things that you use as an agent, um, you were able to get an, a, a f discounted. So Careers on Vacation is the, I think the biggest educator in the industry right now. I mean, I don't, I can't, don't know of anyone who's bigger than us in terms of volume. Um, so we have a great reputation in the industry and we're really able to discount amazing, um, things that you need. And we're always looking for discounts for our, uh, for our clients too. And things like electric electronic business cards and logo design, like all kinds of stuff. If you've been, you know, that's a huge perk. We don't talk about a lot. So thanks for bringing that up. Um, Eduardo from San Juan. Hey, Eduardo. Good morning. Hey, Michelle. Good morning. How are you today? Amy says my start date is next Tuesday. Well, Amy, you are going to get, not only are you going to get, hang on, you want to see something funny? One moment, please. <laughs> Let's see, let's see if my, uh, how my staff is doing today. This was, Amy is not a plan on today's live stream, but Amy, when you, um, we don't talk about this, but we are doing these bonus boxes for careers on vacation right now. So any student that signs up for the summer, I'm going to see what's in here. My assistant is actually right outside the room and she was making, we ran out because we've been selling out so quickly. Um, but yes, we have the Cindy's favorite things in here. So Amy, I'm not going to show you everything in the box, but you will get the Cindy's favorite things. And it literally is an entire two pages. These are all the discounts that you're gonna get. So don't buy anything, wait, and um, we're gonna set you up with that too. There's so many fun things in here. Oh my gosh, you're gonna die. Okay, I'll just show you. You're definitely gonna get one of these careers on vacation mugs. And then this is filled with all kinds of fun stuff. And then of course you get your COV map in there too. So Amy, look forward to that. We send that out within your first two or three weeks of being in the program and it is filled with goodies. Oh my gosh. 
you should, you, if I could turn this camera around, it's hooked to too many cords, but you guys would see my assistant just built out like hundreds of <laughs> boxes for the summer because it's been super busy. So I love that. Hey, Melissa, good morning. Where do you order the bonus box from? Melissa is one of my Wanderlust CEOs. I will tell you that in the Wanderlust CEO group, Melissa, I will give you all of the deets uh, and I'll post that over there for you. I have a contact and a link for you. I just don't have it uh, ready in my brain. So I'll post it over in the group for you, my love. Um, let's see what else we have. <laughs> the actual box itself. Yeah, I got you, girl. <laughs> and that's actually a fun thing. Like some of my Wanderlust CEOs create a, a half version of that box to send out to like their high-end vacations or trips. They are so fun. Clients love getting them. It's a ton of fun. Okay, I think, oh, Michelle said, hey, Cindy, I tagged you in a reel and my suitcase made its de uh, debut. I love that. Um, yeah, guys, we have a, a little note in there to put your suitcase on social media. If you guys go to like the hashtag uh, COV uh, Cruise on Vacation or Cruise on Vacation grad, uh, you can see all kinds of fun stuff. And a lot of our suitcase stuff is out there. And we do put seasonal stuff in. So it's a whole thing. But guys, thank you so much for joining today. I want to remind you, if you're not already, definitely follow us over on socials. We are about to hit 25,000 on YouTube. Please share our channel out if it's been helping you. Um, you guys have made us the number one channel on YouTube for travel, agent, uh, for travel agents everywhere. But specifically, our platform is education. Um, and then on Instagram, if you guys have not been following my back and forth to Florida, we bought a house in Disney. It's the funniest crap you will ever watch. Like I'm having the most ridiculous problems and it's so, I don't know. I think it's funny to watch, but I can only laugh because I can't cry. It's like things like I can't get furniture for six months and it's a lot, but it's follow over on Instagram. I do a lot of behind the scenes stuff over there and I encourage you guys to do that too. But Thank you guys so much for joining us for today's live stream. I will be back here next week with another great topic. Don't forget to like, subscribe, ring that notification bell over on YouTube. Wherever you are in your journey, wherever you are in the world, I wish you so much love. I wish you so much abundance. I wish you the world. I'll see you next week, guys. Have a great one. Cindy Williams here. If you like that last video, make sure you check out all of the other content on our channel. And if you want to follow along and travel with me around the world and see how I run my amazing travel brands and get some great tips on how to grow your own, make sure you check out that other content. I'm going to drop a couple videos here. Click those links. I'll see you next time. Bye guys. She's calling me.